what will win in a signal strength test. DJI's innovative OcuSync 4 technology as built into the DJI Mini 4 Pro or a modified version of the DJI Fly app by Drone Tweaks pushing out FCC levels of signal strength. Well, in this video, I'm going to test exactly that to see which one gives up first and make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to be testing a ton of things in this video. So let's get into it. Now, whilst following drone rules and regulations in your country are vital to ensuring a safe drone flight, for me, there is one factor above and beyond everything else to ensure your drone is as safe as possible, and that is ensuring you have control of it at all times. So a brief backstory for those of you that may be new to DJI drones or Ocusin technology is that in the US under FCC regulations, DJI can broadcast at a higher level from the controller to the drone than what they can in EU countries under CE regulations. If we take the DJI Mini 4 Pro and pop the specifications on the screen, you can see that in FCC mode, broadcasting power is over double what it is for CE countries. Now, this really shows itself up if you want to fly your drone, whether it's the DJI Mini 4 Pro, Mini 3 Pro, DJI Mini 2 or whatever, in a high interference area, such as a built up one with which we are flying in right now. Now, if you have a DJI drone and you've been on the transmission tab, you may have noticed there are two operating frequencies. You have got 2.4 gigahertz and you have got 5.8. Now, 2.4 gigahertz is actually the longer range of the two, but it's a bit more susceptible to interference, making it absolutely ideal for flying out in the open space away from heavy Wi-Fi interference, whereas 5.8 gigahertz is the shorter range of the two, but more designed because it does repel that interference out a little bit better than 2.4 for flying in built-up areas. Now, because because of the huge difference in broadcasting power and of course signal strength between FCC and CE countries, DJI certainly received quite a lot of complaints relating to signal strength issues. But that's where DJI tried to help European countries out, because when they launched OcuSync 4.0, they introduced a third frequency band. This was called 5.2 GHz, and the whole point behind this is the fact that this is much less congested than the usual 2.4 and 5.8, which of course traditional home Wi-Fi routers run on. The idea behind this 5.2 is the fact it should, in most scenarios, give a much stronger signal. And in my testing on my channel, I have 100% proven that this is certainly the case. With the DJI Mini 4 Pro performing so much better than any drone that has come before it with the Ocusync 4.0 technology when it comes to signal strength and it's worth noting that US users do not get access to this. However, a very clever developer has developed a copy of the DJI Fly app called Drone Tweaks and what they promise to do is give you FCC levels of broadcasting power in European countries. So I wanted to make this video to see once and for all which will take the win. CE regulation Ocusync 4 with that less congested 5.2 GHz frequency or a modified version of the DJI Fly app pushing out 5.8 GHz but at FCC levels. Now due to visual line of sight rules and to avoid a bunch of you shouting at me in the comment section below for flying far and wide, I've decided to be a little bit more creative. So I've created this route in a high interference area which is going to push the signal connection absolutely to its limits to test which one will give up first. Now before we start, a quick message from me, it is your response responsibility to ensure you are complying with your local rules and regulations and that by using the FCC app you may be in breach of those rules. I have obtained a special testing license from the UK regulator to perform this test. Now that's with the disclaimer over with, let's get on with the testing. So let's begin the test with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Now if I pop into the DJI Fly app and the transmission tab, you will see we have got three options. We've got 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and then we have got dual band. The one Achilles heel I think DJI need to fix is they should allow us the ability to fix on either 5.2 
or 5.8 gigahertz but as you can see as i mentioned earlier because it is by far the least congested frequency it is automatically picking up that 5.2 so let's begin the flight then with the dji mini 4 pro this has been conducted at 60 meters altitude which is high enough not to invade anybody's privacy but low enough to keep us in that interference window to really put the signal strength through its test what i want you to do is pay close attention to the left corner because if that little indicator on the compass is showing green that means i cannot fudge this test because i am efficiently pointing the controller towards the drone at all times so just one thing for you to be aware of as i continue on our flight i'm just going to take a little left turn here and continue on our journey along this straight bit avoiding flying over people but keeping close enough to the houses to keep that interference high now what you're going to find is as i take this next left turn in ce mode the dji mini 4 pro on that 5.2 gigahertz hertz frequency is going to suffer a little bit of a signal drop okay and as we continue on our journey that little bit further it's going to drop it even further now whilst we haven't remained in control of our drone at all times obviously you can physically see from the indicator on screen that that signal has dropped significantly but of course the powers of the ocusync 4 technology has kept us in control of our drone uh, we've got full video feed so we can continue on our journey and as you can see that signal has resumed to full which is going to take a final left turn over these houses and then of course head back to the home point for a pretty successful test so now what i'm going to do is close the ce version of the app and open up the modified version from drone tweaks and as you can see when you first open this app up it will physically tell you that you may be breaking local laws and regulations just as a reminder and it is entirely up to you whether you wish to proceed or not but ultimately we are here to test the signal strength and if we pop over to the tab you can see this differs from the ce version because as i mentioned earlier the fcc version does not have that five point two gigahertz frequency so we can manually select it on that 5.8 that's to ensure that in flight it doesn't start switching over to 2.4 which would not be ideal for flying in this sort of location now you know that you are in fcc mode firstly because of course you are running the fcc app but most importantly if we compare it to the ce version this line on the left hand side is higher than the 90 whereas on the ce one it is lower so what we're going to do is just of course repeat the exact same test flying out in the exact same place trying to mimic that flight path as perfectly as possible now of course there will be some discrepancies i can't exactly fly 100 perfectly but as you can see as the flight continues that flight path is pretty much the exact same as what we took earlier now as we take this left hand turn you will see a huge difference from the previous flight because on this flight running that fcc power even though the 5.8 is more congested, that greater power has made such a difference because we've had absolutely no drop in signal strength at all. Now, as we continue on our flight, the exact same path we took on the last one, of course, as you can see, no drop in signal, perfect video feed. So what we're going to do is just make that final turn back to the home point, And I think that is pretty conclusive. Now that back-to-back -back test has certainly answered the question we set out to ask, which is better, FCC at 5.8 with a modified version of the app, or CE version with that less congested 5.2 gigahertz frequency? And as you saw, black and white, plain as day, clear as crystal, it seems in this scenario, the FCC app is actually better. However, I just want to continue with the testing a little bit more. So please just indulge me. Now, just to make this test a little bit more interesting, I am going to repeat this test with the DJI Mini 3 Pro run in the normal CE app. Now, with the CE app, of course, with OkiSync 3, which is built into the DJI Mini 3 Pro, we just have the 2.4 and 5.8, and most importantly, that 5.8 is much lower power as we've already discussed so let's just see how the mini 3 pro gets on and basically i'll just quickly speed this up to make it easier and when we get to that unusual 
blackout spot that we saw whereas the FCC version with the Mini 4 Pro it got through without a single drop the CE version of the app with that OkiSync 4 and that 5.2 GHz frequency dropped in signal but it made it round whereas the Mini 3 Pro with its OkiSync 3 has completely lost signal this is a full basically blackout we've got no control over our drone whatsoever and ultimately the DJI Mini 3 Pro's safety feature has kicked in called Return to Home and the DJI Mini 3 Pro is heading all the way home and as you can see just how long it takes for us to get our signal back this is actually incredible so that just goes to show that basically the FCC app is best and OkiSync 4 with that less congested 5.2 is incredibly more powerful because it allowed us to keep our signal over the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now I want to just be a little bit cheeky and just a little bit tongue-in-cheek and I think many of you might like this little bit of a test. So let's go all the way back to the DJI Mini 2, the first OkiSync drone that DJI made in the Mini series. Let's see what happens when we put the DJI Mini 2 up in the air but what I'm going to do just to ruffle a few feathers is I'm going to use the FCC app from Drone Tweaks and just see how the Mini 2 gets on. So again flying at the exact same altitude following the exact same route as we take that left hand turn I am really really anxious to see what might happen. As we get to the end of this little run where the DJI Mini 3 Pro completely disconnected as you can see as we make that left hand sweep with the DJI Mini 2 which is old OkiSync 2 running FCC power yes we get the same drop in the bars as what we saw with the DJI Mini 4 Pro in CE mode but ultimately it has kept the signal so that is pretty conclusive for me so let's just get the DJI Mini 2 back to the home point and we'll wrap up the video with a summary so there we go, I mean that pretty much answers everything doesn't it? Basically OkiSync 4 is a great improvement over OkiSync 3 thanks to DJI giving us that less congested 5.2 frequency but ultimately the greater broadcasting power of the FCC version of the app from Drone Tweaks basically is the better option because even the DJI Mini 2 can perform equally as the, the Mini 4 Pro with its OkiSync 4 by using that version of the app. Now I hope you enjoyed that video. If there is anything that was unclear or a further test you would like to see, please do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you want to know where to get the Drone Tweaks app, I will leave a link in the video description so you can go check it out for yourself. If you found this video useful, please do give it a big thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm more people just like you might want to watch this content. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.